Greetings, Earthlings. Earthlings. It's Wednesday, probably pushing almost seven o'clock. I'm just down here in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna do just a quick, quick little update. Um, tables already capped, screw cleaned, repacked, regreased. Uh, got a couple little last pieces of hardware. I got those today. Um, step recover. Got some sheet metal stuff. Um, this was a thing. I did this today. I did the last little bit of a Sika Flex on my uh, base pad flange thing. Um, yeah, it turned out good. Uh, this is like a weld mitt out of some rectangular tubing and then I welded in a piece of steel and um, I put it in the, the knee mill and I got like a big, a huge, like a six inch sand big face mount and I was able to, you know, sort of um, make it semi flat so the machine could, you know, sort of, you could see the center right here. It's like low. I just cared right about here. Uh, so yeah, Seekaflex, um, there's a dude on, oh, I wish I could remember your name, I'm like super uh, unprepared space case. Uh, talking about cooling and, you know, running stuff and, you know, how to do this or that and like, um, so I'll just give you an overview. Uh, I think you asked about some cable chain and like, Granted, my cable chain doesn't mount to the back of here. Um, like right here, there's like a, a brace that comes along, but it actually, you know, comes up and then over onto the head. And um, on these particular uh, motors, they have, uh, like you can take the feet off and rotate them around. And uh, just so happen to have this extra hole here. So that's actually what the head side of the cable chain attaches to. There's like a bracket um, that the cable chain bolts onto. And then you just run everything through it. Um, like those are hydraulic and oil line, hard lines. And this will transfer into the cable chain and will go to soft and then up and over. Water, air, electricity, and oil all go through the same chain. Uh, and then you can see this is the coolant return. This is uh, an ABS clamp that I made and PVC fits there and it holds it. And uh, this actually dumps down into the enclosure. So this return pipe comes up and then down around front. And uh, uh, these are the drains. So there's a trough that goes under here and then there's two screws. There's some little, you know, filtery kind of things there if you want. Um, and then it all drops down into here. You can see the hole there. Um, so it's like a seven gallon coolant tank that goes in here. Um, small. Uh, the pump is small as well. Um, I got both of them uh, for free 99. So I uh, decided to use them. But um, the little giant pump definitely, uh, I mean, you got to pay attention to that like lift, you know, because everyone's like 10 million gallons at zero feet of lift. And like, I'm always surprised by, uh, I mean, lots of them, you know. I got an 800 horsepower pump. It's like, Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you want some flow and some all, you know, wash chips out of there, you gotta be up in at least like the quarter, third, half horse, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope that's some, you know, inspiration for you, uh, for whatever it's worth. It's just one bozo's interpretation of a machine. So here is the, that's retarded, pardon my words. Um, there's the machine all ready for uh, the table to be slid on. Um, yeah, it's uh, incredibly smooth. Even the Gibbs, or I mean the Y axis with the Gibbs there. Uh, it's just, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. And here's the bellows, yours truly, custom made in China. <laughs> and there they are. This is pretty cool. Maybe I'll make like a separate video about it, but maybe not. Um, these bellows were designed to be 
like quick release for you know servicing here if you want to look at the screw or anything like that um, there's actually let me see if I can get that out yeah you can see the bellows have pins in them and these pins drop down there's set screws that capture them it's like that on both ends and then this end is removable as well and then this end has got the same thing going on. You pull those out and you can drop it down. So, um, yeah, because with these, they're, uh, they're trapped on there. So if you wanted to, you know, do some poking around, you would have to, you know, maybe slide it from this side and then take that side off and slide it or vice versa. Um, but it's fun to, uh, you know, plan. I like doing things like that, like trying to build in some, you know, serviceability into a, you know, otherwise homemade, you know, item. So there's the head spacer, thick cut washer, sick. So yeah, that's about uh, where it sits for right now. Um, I'm gonna go do other things. So I think I will close the door on this uh, chapter. <laughs> Did it close the door? Oh, I'll close the other one. Oh, very nice. Still need to adjust those, but. Uh, so, yeah, I'm starting to get stupid, so um, I'm out of here. Subscribe, thumbs up if you like. Thank you. Till the next time.